It took almost the whole day for this exercise, Mog workers carefully attending to the unclaimed from the storage container and into the case woodwork ready for the final farewell. Nailed to the coffin and engraved with the words of respect. For this exercise alone, uh, NCD is doing it, so perhaps they can come up with the cost. The main, main uh, components of the costs are really the, the labor cost of the contractor and, and the materials they use. You know, of course, they are our people and we need to uh, offer some dignity in, in carrying out the mess burial. So you just don't pick up the bodies and go and do one you know, big grave and then just dump them in there. So you need to offer some uh, dignity and, and uh, respect to those bodies and body parts. So this is not the way Melanesians and especially Papua New Guineans see their loved ones off, but for whatever reasons, these bodies have been left in the cold for at least six months. It's unfortunate, I'm, and I've said it's unmelanesian when we don't come and pick our loved ones, bodies of our loved ones, and take them away and offer them that uh, respectful and decent uh, burial and, and put them you know, you know, uh, to rest at peace, and, and so we can all have peace. But uh, I think for bodies to, be, to remain, and, and maybe there are reasons and circumstances that we don't understand, but I think if those uh, people come out and, and explain to us, you know, we can make uh, uh, circumstances uh, available for them to be able to you know, take their bodies away or leave them. But, you know, leaving bodies for six months is too long. Nine children are amongst the forgotten. Human body parts from amputation or accidents are also counted. For this current mass burial, there are about 54 adult bodies, about nine uh, children and then about 10 uh, body parts so you know some people have accidents some people have disease uh, injuries that uh, result in amputation of either limbs usually body parts are the limbs upper limbs or lower limbs you know ab above knee or below knee so those body parts are placed and often we are, we're seeing that relatives uh, don't come and follow up on the body part uh, and so we have to do this, uh, but we put in those body parts are also put on a newspaper advertisement uh, for relatives to come and, and pick. So we've given that time uh, period and that has lapsed. The bodies laid to rest at Nine Mile Cemetery were done with assistance from the National Capital District Commission. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.